you might not be surprised that a 2023 McKenzie Global Payments report found that cash usage is quickly declining. And you might actually be surprised to learn that electronic payments have tripled in the last five years. My name is Micaiah and I'm from Chargent. If you're a Salesforce admin or a consultant looking to master payments, then you are in the right place. I believe that this stat tells us something. It tells us that customers are ditching traditional payment methods like cash in favor of more convenient digital options. If you wanna stay in business, accommodating digital payments, it's really the least you can do. So this brings us to answering the question that you're here for, which is what's the difference between the payment gateway and the payment processor? And the simple difference between payment gateways and payment processors is that when a customer pays you for a product or service, via a card or other digital method, the payment processor moves the money from the bank account of the consumer into your bank account. And while the payment gateway, it's responsible to facilitate the approval of that e-commerce transaction. To give you a more detailed explanation, think of them as two services rather than two different companies. And while some companies only specialize in one service, at this point, most do offer both. One great example is Stripe, which offers both payment processing and gateway services. Looking at the roles and functions of each is also important to help you differentiate between the two. And before we move on, one important thing you should know is that you can reduce your accounts receivables and your collections challenges in Salesforce using Chargent. Learn how Chargent can make your payments configurable and automated, saving you time and money. I want you to download the checklist using the link in the description of this video right now. As I've mentioned, a payment processor moves money from the consumer's account to the merchant's bank account. It facilitates both offline and online transactions, and it provides credit card terminals or point of sale systems. For example, when a customer makes a purchase, the payment processor verifies the transaction through the point of sale terminal using EMV chips and customer approval, and then it communicates the transaction details to the issuing and acquiring banks to complete the transaction. A payment gateway, on the other hand, acts as a secure and cryptic connection for online payments. Think of it as a virtual point of sale terminal that authenticates digital payment requests. It forwards the payment information to the payment processor and transmit transaction data between merchant and customer banks. The gateway also communicates the success or failure back to the customer. So when it comes to choosing a payment gateway and payment processor, you have two main options. You can either go the standalone payment gateway route with things like Authorize.net, CyberSource, USA ePay, which provide services focused primarily on securing transaction processing and integrated services like WorldPay, PayPal, Stripe, which offer both of the two services we've been discussing. There are several things that you should consider, including coverage, payment methods, currencies, and global reach. And the most important one is that trade-off. So for instance, while standalone gateways might come with higher fees, they also come with more control over your processes. And when you finally choose a payment gateway and processor, whether integrated or standalone, your business will experience several benefits. You will see increased revenue, a better customer experience, and better control over payment processing. At this point, you should be able to confidently answer the question, what's a payment gateway? And what is a payment processor? So if you're ready to choose a payment service that meets your needs, Chargent's gonna be right here with you. At Chargent, we help facilitate payment processing right from your favorite CRM Salesforce. Our advanced tokenization features also help you reduce processing fees and provide secure payment gateways. And last but not least, when you use Chargent, you enjoy payment process automation for optimal routing and multi-gateway tokenization to meet your business's unique needs. My name is Micaiah and I'm from Charging, where we're dedicated to helping you make Salesforce payments simple. And remember, download the collections checklist right now via the link in the description. For more helpful hints, I want you to watch this video here. And remember at Chargent, we are always here to help.